Hey, Joe. Um, I'm glad you decided to try on OpenAI. Now, first step in the process is to get access to OpenAI. To be able to do that, what you need to do is you need to go to openai.com. Um, let me paste this link in the chat window uh, so that you can open that, and then we'll follow the steps to get an account created. Okay. All right. I'm if you, if you scroll app. down a little bit, you'll see uh, try chat GPT somewhere. Yep, right here. Yes, you see this link. Try chat GPT. I'm going to sign up with my personal uh, Gmail. Yeah, okay. that works. And so this will be not my Gmail password, but just an unmet new password, correct? Yes, a new password for openai.com. And then you could use your existing um, Google account as well if you would have hit the continue um, uh, with the Google account. but uh, this way it also works. And now uh, I believe you'll have to verify your email, go to your open Gmail account, and then you should be able to see a link to verify. Okay. Just give me one second. Okay. I have verified my. Did I just oh. reload this page? Yeah. Just try to refresh this page. Okay. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to use. I'm assuming you just need to be at least 18, so I'm just going to use a fake date here. Mm -hmm. uh, 2000. Oops. I don't think I have my phone number linked, so let's try that. Yeah. Yeah, if your phone number is linked to a different account, then this would throw an error, but yeah, looks like you do not have it linked, so yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Now, um, I think you're able to create your account now. So now, if you want to use um, chat GPT models um, to run programmatically and you want to access those, so you need to get hold of your uh, API key for your account. So if you want to uh, do that, so you'll have to go to this link. Let me paste that in chat window. Just open that in a new tab here. So you see this um, API keys here. So first time you will have to create one. And once you create, you can uh, define for how, for how long it would be valid. And then you can set an expiry date as well. Uh, okay. So you click on this create new secret key. So I can create one for test and then I'll just delete it after, yes. after the recording. Yes. Okay, so copy this and keep them in a safe. Yes, keep that in a safe place. And then, um, yeah, you can delete it whenever you are done. Uh, so I take my words back that uh, you can set up the expiry date as well because it looks like uh, that's no longer an option. But yeah, once you are done, you can just uh, uh, delete this key. Okay, so now that we've shown how to, to, to create one, um, I, I'll just go ahead and delete it. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. So I guess once you have this API key handy, you can just use these uh, this key to call um, these uh, large language models programmatically uh, to basically call these APIs in your applications. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.